Oh man, you gotta love the conduit bender, you guys. You thought this was just used by electricians. Electricians and combat astronauts. Welcome back, everybody, to Osiris New Dawn on Experimental Branch. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is episode three. If we do not find a plutonium solution um, at the end of this episode, then I'm going to call this series, and we're going to go back to vanilla. All right, so um, I was killed by a crab monster on my way back to the base, and so it just respawned me back here. Um, so, yeah, that was unfortunate, but it happened. Couldn't do much about it. Um, I had a little more stone, so I made another rock wall, and then I put up a couple more things here, and then made the workbench here. Now, here's the good news. I can actually make the conduit bender in here. I was thinking I had to make that in the forge. Uh, so, to make the conduit bender, we need to make two things of pipe. To make two things of pipe, we need iron, which we already have, actually, in our inventory. And this is this is huge, because, I, I mean, assuming the conduit bender is as OP as it was in, um, in stable... This gives us uh, both a really good weapon and a really good mining tool, and that's going to make a huge difference because, you know, these things are completely broken. I have no way to repair them at present, and um, this is going to make a big difference. Uh, again, assuming it's it's as good as it was before. Okay, so that's two things of pipe, and now let's make a conduit bender. Wow, look at that. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to put this stuff away for now, and... Um, Oh, we got a a big boy over there. And hopefully this conduit bender will still kick ass and take names for us. And that'll at least, uh, well, no, that won't at least. That'll help tremendously if that is indeed the situation. Uh, all right, let's grab the conduit bender, put it down here, and take a look at its stats. So it is, see, it doesn't show us the stats, man. Yeah, I don't like that at all, man. We we need the tooltip back. How do we So how do we see the stats on this? Oh no. All right. Well, let's put some points into health and stamina. And let's look at our let's actually look at our our skill points too. Um Oh, you know what? I made the table without learning it, so I'm going to learn it, so we're doing this legit. And then I guess we'll go... We already learned the conduit bender, so we're good there. I guess, you know, for melee, we might as well just go down the... Or, or for combat, rather, we might as well just go down the gun tree, so we'll learn that and that. Not that we're going to be able to make it anytime soon, but... Uh, ammo shells. Um, I want to try out the bolt rifle uh, if we end up going back to our original series. Uh, because uh, this thing's actually very powerful, and we, we can make it easily. All right, let's go up to science. Uh, for science, we want to work our way up to uh, the nomad living. Okay, we can't quite get there, so we'll wait. And then on the engineering side of things, we want to work our way to the habitat. Uh, so we learn that and that, and that's as far as we can go. Okay, skill points are done. Now, uh, water is still a major, major problem. I'm almost out of water, which means we're going to start taking damage again. Um, so let's um, let's go down here. There's a purple tree down here. Hopefully it has reset. And we can get some purple berries from that. That's really pretty much our only option at this point is purple berries. Unless, you know, we end up finding a... Uh, what? What was that? I don't know. Uh, unless we, you know, finding a, another crate. Yeah, I... Seek you son of a... Oh, it's not him that's doing it. It's the hydration. This guy's super easy to kill. You just hit him in the ass until he dies. He can't turn around fast enough to do anything about it. All right. Grab, grab berries quick. Quick, quick. Grab some berries. Eat two. We're out of little bandages, so we're not in the best of shape on that either, but it's a it's a struggle. It is a struggle. Um Okay, are there any more? No more viable resources. Okay. 
We're gonna need to find some red trees too, so we can get. Oh, here's here's more. We're gonna need to find some red trees too, so we can get the um, you know, make more of these bandages. All right. Um. See, our health is in bad shape, isn't it? Well, there's nothing for it. We're gonna take this, and then we have to take these for the hydration. We can eat these for food. They don't give us healing, but at least we can eat food. We have plenty of these to make bandages. We just have to find a red tree now. Okay, so it seems to me like the conduit bender is maybe still badass. Um, giant beetle species. Okay, don't run. <sighs> so hard to remember not to do that. Uh, let's go find some ore. Uh, other than sulfur, because I don't even know what we would use sulfur for. And see if this one-shots the ore. If it does, then that means it's still OP. Here, we'll put that away, because we can move a lot faster with it out. So yeah, this is all sulfur. I don't even know what we would use that for at this point. We're looking for a red tree, and we're looking for ores. Is that it? Uh, no, that's a bark tree. We don't care about bark trees. Uh, which direction do we want to go into? There's not really any compelling reason to stay. Well, there is. I mean, we still have nitrogen and hydrogen here, so... I was going to say, though, because we can't do the mine now. I don't know if we even really want to stay there. there. There's either a red or a purple tree over that way. We need it one way or the other, so let's head that direction. Oh, more stones, too. Good. We'll pick those up along the way. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is putting the herd on him pretty good. So I think our conduit bender is still badass. Okay, so let's pick these up. I don't remember how I got those four, the three, um, I can't talk. The three plutonium ingots. I'm not even sure how that happened. We we got it from somewhere. I, I wonder if it was when we looted that rover in the first episode, right? Not too long after we started. Possible. Not really sure. This looks like it's probably a purple tree, which is fine. We need those berries as well. We could go investigate around the the rib cage a little bit more. We'll get that for a little bit of a food source. And we actually have some a little something to eat, a little something to drink, but we're gonna hang on to that for now. So we're gonna kind of work our way over towards the rib area. And uh, we'll hit any you know any no ore nodes that we find. It's too bad that all those green nodes are all uranium. They look just like plutonium. Tumbo Basin. Huh, okay. I think a tumbo is some kind of a creature because you could make a stew out of it, but I don't know what a tumbo is. Maybe we're going to find out and maybe we're not going to like it. Look at those trees, man. Those are cool. All right, we got some different ore types out here. What is this? Oh yeah, okay. So we're we're still one-shotting ore. All right, very good. So now we know that the conduit bender is still the star of the show. We we're gonna want to make a repair table too. Um. Oh yeah, we should be able to make that. We absolutely, because we can make pipes in the workbench and then we can make the repair table. And that way we can keep our beloved conduit bender uh, in good shape. So that, that helps quite a bit. Um, quite a bit. Because see, like I said earlier, I, w I was thinking that we could only make the conduit bender in the forge. And, you know, if we're not able to make a forge, well, then so, so much for that. But now that at least I know we can make this and keep it repaired that gives us a, a little bit better fighting chance okay so let's move 
Uh, let's see if we can get up that hill, I guess. Your guy will, when at least when you're in third person, it seems like he crouches automatically because I'm not doing that. He He's doing it himself. Another thing I was going to say, and, and I could be completely just off, off my rocker here, but it seems to me like the third person works a little bit better. Like it's a little smoother than it was before. We're going to need this eventually. Um, so I guess we'll grab some of it. We get, we get engineering points anyways for it. So Worm Graveyard. Okay. Oh man, you gotta love the conduit bender, you guys. You thought this was just used by electricians. Electricians and combat astronauts. Good, we got a red tree so we can make more bandages over there, and then we have a purple tree over here. Essential to our survival at this point in time. Okay, let's head over to the red tree. Make some bandages. If we get attacked, though, I'm just going to pop one of the big medical kits because we don't want to take any chances here. Let's put that away. We got another purple tree there. This is kind of neat down in here. Two red trees. Beautiful. Oh, we've got fluorine now here, too. Okay, that's good. So fluorine and chlorine in this valley. Okay, and then let's eat these. Okay, what's this dark stuff. These are probably just more outcroppings. Oh no, that's titanium. Okay, we don't really need titanium right now, so let's not wear out our tool unnecessarily. Yeah, there is definitely a lot more um, a single single uh, whatchamacallit um, mineral uh, notes. That's gold. So this is the place to come for gold, man. Tell you what. Okay, that's an outcropping. Those are all outcroppings. Wait. Hit the wrong button there. We're going to need this stuff for the crap mech eventually if, if we continue on. So we're grabbing that. Okay, so we got the chlorine thing there. Um, let's go back over. One thing I like about this place is there's lots of the trees around. There's lots of red trees and purple trees. So, you know, we could, we could do a base here. We got two of the gases, not th the ones that we don't need as much, but still. Okay, let's put our light on. It's getting dark. I'm just trying to see if there's anything right in, in and amongst the bones here. Doesn't look like it, though. It's the big old beetle guy that makes that little noise. All right, well, hmm. Did we look at this already? Yeah, I think this was the titanium, right? Yeah. Okay, we got a skelepod there. Let's hit these outcroppings. We haven't uh, accidentally mined any plutonium, have we? <laughs> it doesn't look like it. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and um, uh, hydrate again. Uh, uh, Hydration levels are now satisfied. Okay, so we're fully hydrated. We're not really in that bad of shape health-wise. Let's use the ferns. These things have to be just delicious. To top off our food and we're in good shape for the moment. Well, okay. So let's see. We Where's our hut? Our hut's 840 meters in that direction. We're quite a long ways away from it now, aren't we? Um, I think we probably 
came down from there. Uh, so let's go south. I'm not super worried about being out at night now that we have the conduit bender, but we do have to watch its durability. It's about 60% down. Oh, there's a satellite. I Wait, is that a satellite? Uh, I, I, when I, well, it, no, solar panels. That's a satellite. I was looking at that. Is this uh, the, the new Dawn? Oh, yeah, locate Phoenix crew, investigate base. Okay, yeah, we, we found it. I didn't even know what we were doing that, but we did it. Okay, so we have to find the dead astronaut, I guess, unless they've changed that. Uh, the dead astronaut is was usually right here, I think, if I remember right. So they must have changed that. Let's see what's going on over here. Let's get that put away so we can move faster. This is probably, once again, not uh, probably nothing we can do with it. Yeah. All right, let's go in here. Come on, give us plutonium, please. Oh, no. <laughs> no plutonium in there. Okay, there's, I think there's two more crates. Plutonium? Nope. No plutonium. All right, uh, let's try in here. Nothing in here. What about in here? Oh, there's a dead astronaut. Come on, plutonium. Oh, no, it's lithium. Dog, got it. <laughs> it's on the green. And for just a minute there, I thought we were we were set. Uh, okay, scientist Marley, inspect. Mission complete. We got a key, we got a green key card. Reward one stat point level up. Okay, here. Um, a mid-level clearance key card used to open Osiris mission doors and abandoned settlements and mines. I wonder if we can open the door in mine one with this it's a mid-level i think the blue one was just a normal level i think uh let's give ourselves a stamina point for that all right now for mission stuff which is here i think that's it there's no sign of the rest of the phoenix team establish comms with you and e find comms log oh okay so they've ex They've extended the mission, so there's more to do now, which is really cool. Uh, no, we don't want to mark it as complete. Establish comms with UNE. Uh, interesting. Okay. So does that mean we need to go up to the satellite dish up there, maybe? Wow, look at that. That's cool looking. All right, is there anything we can do up here? No, I don't see anything. Okay, well, that sucks. There looked like there was more, like, solar panels or something up this way. A crate! Nope. No plutonium. Any more crates? There's one of dehydration detected. Fungal thicket. Okay. Well, our hut's a long, long ways that way. This goes back to the fungal forest place. So we don't need to go back there for now. Let's grab some more uh, red fern berries for bandages. All right, what's this silver looking? Oh, it's silver. Interesting. Serious dehydration detected. Okay. Let's get some more uh, purple berries for hydration. All right, we're back to full health, full hydration, full nutrition. Um, all right, what to do? What to do? Oh, there's a pure iron rock. Let's grab that. Oh, 
isolated shell. Let's get these though. Wow, that blue stuff over there is trippy looking. So we were over in those... I think we were over in those trees in the first episode. That's where we first discovered there were wasps. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where we were at anyway. So let's head over towards this blue stuff and investigate that. Oh, look at that. A pure magnesium thing. That's awesome, man. Really happy to know these are around now because that's going to make steel production way less painful. There's another one. All right, so note to self, come to the to the weird looking blue area for magnesium deposits. <laughs> Yeah, you better run. We just about one shot that guy. Starvation warning. All right, let's go up here. There's a big crab over that way. Weird, man. Weird. Okay. Well, you know one thing we could do? Um, we could go back to mine one at the Blood Forest where our base is and see if this new key card that we get actually opens the door. And if it does, then, you know, there might be, like, crates inside the room. I'm not counting on it, but it's possible. And if we can find crates, that's where we have a chance of finding plutonium. We need two more pieces of ore, and then we're then we can actually make the forge. What the hell? You guys are so quiet, man. This one's a tougher one. Oh, shit! <laughs> They're coming after me now, aren't they? Oh, he got me! Alright, well. I guess that's one way to get back to base quickly. Vitals are now critical. That almost sounded like um a meteorite coming down. Okay, so... um, You guys saw me set... It, well, if you watched the first episode, you saw me set drop all on death, and it... It's not working, so it gives me my inventory back. Um, at this moment in time, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, though. So, <laughs> since we have it, we have it. So, we're just going to, like I said, not look a gift horse in the mouth. So, let's heal up and hydrate up with the berries that we do have. And we can eat the ferns. Of course, we should be able to make some meat now, but... Let's just eat these to get them out of our inventory. Okay, so it looks like that's done. All right. Um, let's go into here and grab all this stuff out and make some more meat. And then we'll just start processing stuff. Because this is the one that has the, the ball that put us out at the other mine before, but let's just run through here. See, none of that ore that was blocking that entrance is still, it is back, so it's like they don't, re the mines don't reset anymore or something. Okay, can we open the door? No, we need a tier one key card. Come on, man, we have a tier two, that's better. <laughs> it won't let us in. Oh, no. All right. Well, guys, I'm, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, I suppose I could keep looking around, you know, for crates and stuff. And 
eventually, you know, maybe luck out and come across another. Is this going to put us back out to beta mine? Uh, you know, eventually, yeah, it did. Luck out and find plutonium in a crate somewhere. Yeah, see, that one didn't reset either. Interesting. I, but other than that, I just don't know what else to do. I don't know how we're going to get that last plutonium ingot to make the forge. Because if we don't make the forge, then it's, you know, we can't do anything else. That's really what it boils down to. That's really what it boils down to. So maybe what we ought to do is just hang it up for now. And, you know, and just wait until they, they work on it some more. Where is this going to put us? Mine to exit. And that puts us back to mine one. Really weird, man. That is really weird. So yeah, it might, you know, it, it might just be better for us to to wait. And, you know, wait for them to do an, a, another update to experimental. And then, you know, keep on trying it at that point. In fact, what I could even do now that I think about it some more is you know release these first three videos just so you guys can kind of see what's going on with experimental I, I mean we may we probably didn't explore every single area either by the way but like look at that area over there that is trippy and then you know when they come out with the next version of experimental then we do another couple of episodes and you know just kind of keep working it that way uh until experimental gets to be in a playable you know a, a playable state because right now you know it's not really playable for us because we can't we can't do the mines and we can't find friggin plutonium what is this lithium okay no lithium is not what we need game not gonna do us any good i mean it's kind of nice that it's here but that is not what we need this is an interesting biome, though. Didn't did we come over here? I can't remember if we did or not. Maybe we did. Lithium all over the place, though. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of thinking that's probably what we need to do. Uh, just wait until you know they come out with another experimental update, and we'll we'll just kind of have a, an experimental side series where like we do a, a couple episodes here and there and check it out. Um. But not, you know, not make it a full-blown series un until we can make it a full-blown series, if that makes sense to you guys. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to go back to, you know, just the normal series because I had had more episodes planned for that anyway. And um, we'll go from there. Okay. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this glimpse into series what's coming, we'll say. Detected. And um, I will see you guys back in the normal stable series um when i see you okay catch you later bye bye